what's up fighter fight man 64 here and welcome back to some more soul caliber 2 in the last episode we done all we could at the land of mirac where we were able to do all the mission except for one and that was the me that we cannot have access to yet but i will say right now that one we don't have we're going to encounter that later on as we do Weapon Master Mode. So, in this episode, I made a thorough decision about what I was going to do next. So, I was going to do Chapter 9, but I'll save that for next episode. So, instead, we're going to be doing Sub-Chapter 3, because apparently, with Sub-Chapter 2, from what I can remember, that's something you don't get to, like, at the very end of the game. That I'm gonna say much. So, sub chapter 2, uh, we're not gonna begin that till like the very end of the Weapon Master mode. So, we're gonna just jump right into sub chapter 3. Going to the land of Pollock. I know, it, it's weird to be jumping ahead, but. I guess that's what we're going to end up doing for this one. So anyways, so before we start, if y'all could do me a huge favor and punch that like button. On this video, I would really appreciate it. Sorry for the hiccup there. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber already, because there's still many of you watching my videos as a non-subscriber. If you're watching this as a non-subscriber now, Please do me a huge favor, subscribe today, and let's reach 250 subs. That is our goal for this one. So, with that, without further ado, let's get on with the show and jump into the land of Pollock. What could await us there? No one knows. Road to Arcturus. The location you thought was located to the north of war-torn Mirak. Pollock, known for being the birthplace of an ancient hero had cut off all ties to the outside world a great many years ago. Information about the region was scarce. It was truly a land of mystery. There was a good reason you were going through the trouble of heading all the war out, of, out to a place like Pollock for someone who had seen a figure resembling Leon heading to the north. Now, for this one, I think I can only do two uh, episodes here, which means we're going to have yet another short one, uh, quite possibly. And who knows, I might do Chapter 9 after this, but I don't know, though. But for now, we're just going to jump to Stage 1 Eternal Palace. But before we do, I'm just going to say right now, I picked Yonestone for this one, and... The weapon I chose is Ramdo, long reach and absorb health, but guard is penetrable, which means you take damage if you guard. Now, I did have the Shao Leon as part of my weapon, but, uh... That's not gonna do me much good. Although this is almost kind of a lightsaber kind of weapon, it really isn't gonna do much in terms of favor, so... Ramdo it is. Anyway, Eternal Palace. This was the one I was worried about from the last episode. The ground is strewn with landmines. Falling down means certain death. Defeat the enemy under this condition. Which in our case, we gotta knock our opponent down before she knocks us down. This one is pretty difficult to do, so this may take me th several tries. Or maybe I'll get lucky uh, and beat it first try, which I highly doubt that. Yep. That was what I was worried about. So, this may take me several tries to do. Because I hate this one. This is one of the ones I hate doing. There is another one like this uh, later on. And I jumped. I freaking jumped. That was that was a terrible mistake. I was trying 
I was actually trying to guard that not jump. So I think next time I fail this, well, I may not do it, but uh, I'll just cut ahead. Which safely I don't have to, because like on our the first time that we have struggle twice on, third try with the charm, and now we go to the castle of the damned. Your health decreases over time. Defeat the enemy under this condition. Uh, now, if memory serves me correctly, uh, I believe we have five enemies we, that we deal with. I could be wrong, though. And it is. And it's always, uh... It's always... It's always, uh, this... This group. Just... Let you in on that note. Anyway, that's one enemy down and four to go. Ivy's next. Ah! Bye bye. I know she was already KO, but I just wanted to be fancy. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just trying to. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he missed. He missed. Yoshimitsu missed me. <laughs> Two more fighters to go. Taki and Assassin. Nope. Oh, that, oh, that might be problematic. We're doing good so far. Only like one third of the damage that we taken off of that one. And now we fight Assassin, once again, as a sub-character. Missed! Nope! Nope! Get the heck out of here, Assassin! We're done here! And, wow, that is a lot of gold to have in our possession. I'm impressed. And because we don't have access to the base yet, our work is done here. And now that I think about it, I think I'll do Chapter 9 uh, also. But I will do that after I buy some weapons here. And who knows who I'll be picking next. Uh, alright, so I'm gonna buy the stick for Cervantes. Uh, big run sword for Link, and that's pretty much all I can buy for now. So yeah, I think that episode was pretty short, so we're just gonna jump right into Chapter 9, Alcohol. But first, I need a moment to switch my character, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my character chosen, and now it's time to jump to the next area. The Land of Alcohol. So let's go there. Chapter 9, Forgotten Ground. With her final blow, Vero collapsed. His face showed a look of surprise, as he could not believe that he had actually lost. It was over. You had won. <laughs> I see. So you had the spirit sword. To think that feeding on the power made me more vulnerable. I never considered that. Vera slid to the floor and ceased to move. He had the power of Solage within himself. Thirsty, the guardian of the gate, barely managed to talk. The gate existed to prevent the cursed sword from getting out. He saw through the way they work. Using methods unknown, he called the power of the dark sword into himself in order to pass through the gate. The gate deliberately allowed him through because they're very purpose was to seal that power inside. 
The power that Vero obtained in the Forbidden Ground was that of Soul Edge itself. Midar, Aldebaran, and Mirak. Vero had fallen, but with the three gates destroyed, Soul Edge was in an extremely dangerous state, and restoring the barrier would take time. Someone needed to keep watch over Soul Edge until the preparation for the creation of the new barrier was completed. May I ask this of you? As the vanquisher of Vero and the wielder of the spirit sword, you were most appropriate for the task. After some brief sight, you accepted her request. In order to handle the evil sword safely, it was necessary to first complete the purification of the spirit sword. After learning from Thirsty about an old man with the power to do so, you set off to find him. You traveled to Algol. The Land of Exiles. Okay, so for this one, we have, I believe it's three stations that we can do uh, here. Normally, I don't combine uh, these two, two chapters, but this is the first time I'm going to be doing this, and sub-chapter three was a very short one. We will have access to that maze also later on, but not right now, though. Anyway... Chapter 9, Stage 1, we go to Corridor of the Sky. Only the enemy weapon is visible. Defeat the enemy under this condition. Now, I think for this one, you fight two characters. Uh, the first one is Astros. I also chose Mitharuki here because... Well, although I did show a big dim... Although I showed a dim of him earlier on that he was one of the characters that, that we could play as, uh, well, he didn't really get enough screen time, and he wasn't our character that we, uh, really picked. It was Shongwa. So, I don't have much weapon for Mizurugi, so this is the first time in a while that I'm using the standard weapon. But anyway, with our invisible opponent down, we move on to the next one. Ancient Amphitheater. Unseen forces, the combatants together, defeat the opponent under this condition. A bonus is available during the match. Well, looks like we're gonna be striking ourselves rich uh, for this one. Deal as much damage and get as much gold as possible. And looks like we're being levitated forward. Uh, oh, that's the problem. Oh, no! Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, of course! Of course! I once again lose to the first fighter. Try that again! Oh boy, this is going the same way as it did last time. And barely had enough time to beat Cassandra. Oh god, and we only have 15 seconds to defeat every opponent. Well, this is going to take a while. Not happy with that. All right, all right, Yolthorn's taken care of. Had a much easier time with him than with Cassandra. Now we have Raphael yet again. I probably should have chosen a different character for this one. And I'm not gonna have enough time. Well, all right, we're gonna have to run it back then. Oh, oh that was really close. I, I, I almost, I almost failed on the first fighter again. 
Battle 2, fight! Oh yeah, and I should also mention as well that, um, sometimes you can actually break grab, which I actually did on this one. Okay, so Raphael is defeated now. Only our mere clone is left. But. Things are not looking good for us right now. Because, of course, not. Alright! Uh, uh, okay, alright! Well, I got back to Mithruki again. Now, uh, let's just say so far, my, my luck has been terrible. My luck has been terrible so far. Well, hopefully that, that's the end of, end of the, end of the K. And it is! Okay, I'm just gonna say right now, this one took me so many tries to do. This took me at least uh, five tries, if I remember correctly. Because let's just say I was just having a worse luck, and I was taking too many damage, either from like them guarding and and that stuff, and just pulling off so many attacks. So yeah, this took me five tries to do. It was really that bad, considering that I was being twer pushed towards our opponent. And you know, if I didn't have the basic sword for Mithuruki, this probably would have been done a lot faster. But alas, not the case. And finally, we now reach our last level for this episode. Reclusive Palette. Only one part of the enemy can be seen. Defeat the enemy under this condition. And this is the main reason why I uh, chose this character. Mitsurugi for that one, cause, two souls are cause we're gonna have to aim low here, because only the leg can be seen. The evil one is the unknown. So this one's gonna be a mess. For this fight, for uh, for this fight, uh, oh, the charade uh, character only uses Taki. So there we go. Oh man, I am seriously glad to be done with this chapter because that second one was that second stage for chapter nine was like the biggest speed bump for me. That was not fun. Uh, before we go, though, let's do some more shopping, and, uh, I do believe I have, I do believe I have enough for, to get a new costume, and I'm gonna get one for Callum this time. I still have yet to play her, but I actually like the costume a bit. Uh, alright, so, what do we have to work with here, uh, in this area? We're also getting to the pricey weapon, too, uh, as well. Uh, so, we're gonna get Ivy the Demon Tail. Blue Storm for Shongwa. This one's not bad. And, uh... I don't have a lot of weapon for Mithrugi, so I'm gonna get the Tau War. Which is, uh... What our mere clone had. So, anyways, well, 
we finished two episodes, a subchapter and chapter nine, so I say we call it an episode there. So, once again, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching this, and remember, if you enjoyed this episode of Soul Calibur 2 and you'd like to see the next part, don't forget to punch that like button. And next time, we, be we made it thoroughly to the east side, where we meet the final chapter for the main story. And that take place at the land of Antares. See you guys next time. So, once again, I am Fightman64. See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friend, and take care. Goodbye, everybody, and stay safe. Adios.